Hey, it's your old pal Fern Bark, and today I'm going to try Packet Gourmet's All American Works Burger, which has been done on YouTube many times before. The difference is, after I try it today, I'm going to try to recreate it Let's at check home. Check out what's in the bag. Get my, here we go. Maybe. So this one comes with quite a bit of things. Here's your hamburger and seasoning mix. You got some cheese and a bunch of condiments. And then you have to bring your own bun or tortilla or whatever you want to uh, put it in to eat. The directions say to empty the contents of the burger pouch into the steep cook bag, add two ounces and then let it uh, work for 15 minutes. It doesn't say to add the cheese until later. so. I'm kind of curious how that's going to work, but let's do it. Well, here we are after 15 minutes. Looks pretty playable. That was like really not very much water. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the cheeses to it and I'm going to add uh, I'm not going to put the mayo in because I'm just not really into that but I will put the uh, ketchup and mustard and maybe the relish later but not right away so I did take a, a little whiff of this before I'm going to put the cheese in it really smells like hamburger and uh, I was going to say seasoned salt but it's kind of like a crust between seasoned salt and taco seasoning so let's go ahead and get the cheese in there and the mustard and the ketchup I'm just gonna mix that off camera and then I'll put it in the pita all right here we are sort of mixed up it's it's hard to do in this bag it's not as easy as you might think so I'm going to go ahead and pop her open. Try to pour it into my pita. Oh man. Oh no, here we go. Oh, not too shab. All right. That's what that looks like. Here we go. Taste test time in front of the cedar tree. Here's a close-up of my second sandwich, so you can see the cheese and the meat a little bit better together. It's really very good. All right, so what it feels like to me, and when I was eating it, it was a little bit of crunchy, and I think it, I figured out that the cheese is just not um, soft, which is giving it crunch, but you know what? It was like weird for two bites, and then it actually was pretty nice to have a little texture in there with the meat. Um, so I'm not sure if that was intentional or just, just the way it goes. I think I'm going to try it with the cheese in with the meat when you're rehydrating. Because uh, I think that would be more burger-like. This And also, the seasoning, it's clearly they're, they're using some kind of like a, like a chili seasoning mix to give it a little kick up. And it's fantastic. So uh, that's uh, that was a good choice. I'm going to go ahead and try to recreate the uh, American Works burger. The uh, weight on it is, I'll try to get in there close, but anyhow, it's 4.3 ounces is the net weight. So what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is put the bag on the scale. So this is the same bag that I used that's over here. I'm gonna go ahead and zero that weight out. I'm gonna put my condiments on here and then add uh, this mixture of, this is basically dehydrated hamburger that I made last uh, March and some freeze-dried cheese and some onion powder and there's a little bit of uh, seasoning hamburger seasoning on there just to spiff up the flavor now I'm going to use the same amount of water that they ask for on the package from Packet Gourmet I don't know how well this is going to work because they're using freeze-dried burger and this is dehydrated burger and usually dehydrated wants a little more hot water for a long time but I'm going to give it a go and see if I can 
recreate the set a fraction of the price. And here we are at 4.3 ounces, just like it says on the bag. I'm going to go ahead and put some hot water in there, and I'm going to put it in the uh, Packet Gourmet Cozy for 15 minutes and hope for the moment best. of truth. This is, of course, the original Packet Gourmet meal. Wow, this is still scorching hot. It is nice and soft, though. It, the hamburger is actually squishy. I'm going to go ahead and put it in this bowl just to make it easier to see. Normally, I would just eat it out of the bag. I'm going to say that doesn't look too bad at all. The cheese comes out really good. I'm just going to try a bite without the condiments on it. Maybe. Yeah. Really nice. One nice thing about dehydrating it yourself is you can, tr you can control the sodium. This has, uh, the one serving has 1,380 milligrams of sodium, which is pretty steep. I did not salt this hamburger before I cooked it. So there's no salt added to the meat. And the only salt I'm gonna get is whatever is in these condiment pouches. So there'll be some, but I think way less than 1,380. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, juice this up and uh, give it, bring it back. Well, that certainly is uh, not quite as appealing <laughs> looking. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give her another taste, see how it tastes with the, uh, I went ahead and put the pickle relish in this time too, just for fun. Yeah, tastes just like a regular hamburger, which is nice. I think that that condiment packet actually is where possibly a lot of the salt is coming from because as soon as I put that ketchup and mustard on there, you could tell the saltiness went way up. Anyhow, uh, I'm pretty happy with my version of the uh, packet gourmet version. The, the Probably the biggest drawback to the dehydrated is the chew on it is never as good as as freeze-dried food uh, the freeze-dried stuff usually reconstitutes a lot better my hamburger was tender but it still is a little chewy not annoyingly so but you know it's not perfect either anyhow hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching